Hello and welcome to another episode of Matsu with Paul. And today I bring you Ghost Six Covert Case for the Moto G Play. Let's take a look at it. Now this is one out of eight different styles of cases that you can find on Gossip's website. Uh, and like I said earlier, this is the covert case. This is something you can currently find on their website for $14.98. Uh, it comes in three different colors, clear, which is the one we have here, pink, and also smoke, in case you also wanna have clear, but just want a bit of a black, that smoky look. Um, and just like any other unboxing, you guys know that I'm here to take a look at the packaging because because I firmly believe packaging is the first point of contact with the consumer for the most part. Uh, that's how they get to pick up your product, they get to look at it, and it's how it's presented to them. In particular, I feel that this was made specifically for me or people in my age group because, again, there's absolutely nothing about this packaging that I don't like from the color scheme to the glossy pictures to the clear window, let's see the product inside, to the holographic name holder at the top that gives me away as someone that likes trading cards, to the QR code that lets you, you know, see a video so that you can see what your case actually looks like, to the little magnetically attached clasp. I'm, I'm a huge, huge fan of that. It doesn't cost much. It doesn't cost a lot of money just to put a little bit of, you know, a little more effort a little more R&D into your, into your packaging and it definitely goes a long way with the consumer. When we look at the bag, again, a very, very nice glossy bag and I'm just, again, just a huge, huge fan of this packaging. Finally, let's go ahead and finally open it up. I'm gonna put this aside. And we're gonna put our case aside for right now. But it looks like, again, in all of the Ghost Tech cases, we are getting a Ghost Tech uh, sticker with their, local, with their logo that is matte black to help build that brand loyalty. So now this is the actual case, the actual covert case for the Motor G Play. A very, very nice looking case. Uh, this one in particular is made of a uh, three material construction. We have a silicone back to give you that clear look of polycarbonate while still remaining pliable and flexible. And now the sides are, you know, the sides and the edges are going to be made out of uh, a thermoplastic polyurethane to give you that impact resistance while also remaining flexible. And now the four corners that you guys see on each side are going to be uh, Ghostex R2X proprietary impact absorbing technology. And again, this is meant to be a very pliable case while still being rugged and remaining clear. Because if we take a look at it, the majority of phones actually, the majority of manufacturers go through a very long process of designing the back of their phones because you're going to be looking at them a lot. I realize a lot of people would just slap a case on this, but a lot of people do enjoy the beauty of their phone. And a lot of people do enjoy the natural look of their phone. I'm one of those people. I know I have a bunch of cases on mine, but if I could, I would really, really go for a clear case like this. There we go. That's a beautiful looking case. Um, again, I love the fact that it's clear because I like this blue gradient that the Moto G Play is going on with the dark blue at the bottom and a lighter blue going to the top. And if we can just take a look at it, it is actually, um, the cutout for the fingerprint scanner is dead center. It is not askew, it is not slightly off. I do not have a, I don't have OCD, but it really, really bothers me when stuff is out of place. And also we can see the camera cutout is very, very nicely cut out. We have coverts, um, we have the, the name of the case right here on the side, so you don't forget what kind of case it is, as well as Ghostex logo all the way at the bottom. Now, if you look around at the rest of the case, we can see that the pinhole for the microphone has been cut out also at this time it's dead center it kind of bothers me when it's not 
Also, our cutout for our USB C port is used for both charging and data transfer, and very neatly, very nicely cut out the dead center. And we can also see that the holes for our speakers are not being obstructed in any way, shape, or form. Now, when we flip it over to the front of the phone, we can actually see that we are being provided with a fairly substantial lip that is gonna provide us uh, with some protection when the phone happens to land flat on its face. It's not gonna immediately shatter or, you know, if it happens to fall on flat face, it's gonna help it not touch the actual screen of the phone. I'm a huge fan of this part up here where they actually did an extra cutout for the speaker up here. They didn't have to do that. That's very, very nice attention to detail. And I'm a huge fan of that. Fit and finish goes a very, very long way. And finally, the very last thing that I always check for is how accessible those buttons are. Because nine times out of 10, the case you probably have is fine, but if it's a really rugged case and your phone is protected, that's usually at the cost of mobility, that's usually at the cost of having your buttons inhibited in some way, shape, or form. That's not the case here. And, you know, like this is just, this is just such a nice case. I'm a fan. Again, it's um, the sides are tough, yet they still always have just a little bit of gift so that, you know, you're, you can tell that your phone is protected. It has a nice, soft, squishy interior, just the slightest bit of gift. Um, and again, if you go to their website and you're wondering what kind of materials go into this, it tells you they're transparent, they're honest. And, and I'm a huge fan of that. I'm a huge fan of companies starting to be honest, you know? Um, if your product doesn't do well, be honest about it. If your product only offers 10 hours of battery life, say so. Don't say it offers 20. If your product is only drop tested to six feet, say so. Don't say it's drop tested to 20, 30, whatever feet, you know? And if your product is made out of uh, silicone, go ahead and say so. It's made out of thermoplastic polyurethane, go ahead and say so. Um, acrylic, go ahead and say so. Polycarbonate, go ahead and say so. And I'm a huge fan of that, that again, that Ghost Tech is choosing to be honest. Huge, huge fan of that. Go ahead and let me know in the comments, what are your guys' experiences with Ghost Tech? Or let me know what phone do you think would look great with this clear case. If I'm being honest, I think that an iPhone 12 mini would look amazing with it, especially with this beautiful color gradient. Or if not, the Moto G Stylus with that beautiful green back would look really, really nicely with this clear, transparent back. And again, if you guys happen to be subscribed while you're commenting, you're gonna be entered into the giveaway for the Alcatel Droid Tab 2 tablet. All you have to do to be entered into this giveaway is just comment and be subscribed. Um, what are your thoughts on it? What do you think would look good on this? And as always, thanks for watching.